India houses half of Asia's elephants. They are a huge part of our ecosystem as well as culture and hold a special place in our mythology. The south of India is reverential of these gentle creatures. They are included in festivals, fed and looked after in temples and also work at timber yards. Moreover, they are also prayed to Pan India because of the legend of Lord Ganesha, one of the most popular Indian deities who bears an elephant head. However, of late, it has been recorded that the population of the Indian elephant is depleting. Elephants require a large amount of land and food to survive. The homes of the elephants are being taken away because more and more human settlements are making their way into elephant zones. Consequently, elephants are always resettling so that they find a space that can sustain the entire herd. And this means that the elephants accidentally end up walking into towns and villages. Out of fear, they trample over human settlements and sometimes even eat the agricultural produce of the farmers. This makes people capture elephants to restrain them from causing more harm. Elephants are also kept in captivity because they used to carry heavy loads of weight. Another danger these creatures face is the poaching done to fuel the black market demand for ivory. Therefore, conservation efforts are of great importance to help the species not only survive but live safer lives. In the holy city of Mathura, near the iconic Taj Mahal, lies India's first ever elephant hospital, Wildlife SOS Hospital. The 12,000 square foot elephant hospital caters primarily to elderly elephants and those that have experienced trauma in captivity. For example, many captive elephants are often shackled, whipped and beaten. Other elephants that sustain injuries in the wild are also welcomed to the hospital. Elephant doctors will have access to wireless digital x-ray, thermal imaging, ultrasonography, tranquilization devices and quarantine facilities. And they'll be able to visit elephants remotely that aren't able to travel to the hospital. Geeta Seshimani, co-founder of Wildlife SOS, the non-profit behind the hospital, said, I think by building a hospital, we are underlining the fact that elephants need welfare measures as much as any other animal. With this move, animal activists are hoping that the cause of elephant conservation, health and safety is discussed more at length. If elephants are being used or kept in temples, they are meant to be treated with respect and not abused to cause them trauma. These hospitals are hopefully a sign for a positive change towards the treatment of elephants. For more such videos, please subscribe to India Echo.